After international breaks in September and October, this week sees the start of the November international break, the third of the season. The final set of fixtures for the new UEFA Nations League competition will be taking place, along with friendlies as well. In this video, I will show you all of the main international fixtures taking place this weekend, mainly focusing on the UEFA Nations League, as well as which fixtures stand out to me on each day, on which matches I will probably be watching. Before we start, if you still don't know what the UEFA Nations League is, or you don't fully understand it, check out my video where I explain what it is in more detail by clicking the i button in the top right hand corner or clicking the link in the description. Before we look at the fixtures, here's how all the groups are looking like in the UEFA Nations League after the second round of fixtures. In League A, there is no team guaranteed to be top of the group just yet, but Iceland will be relegated having lost all three of their matches so far, and so will Poland as they lost and drew to Italy. France and Spain cannot be relegated, and similarly, Germany cannot qualify for the Nations League finals. Apart from that, it is still all to play for. Matches between England and Croatia and Germany and Netherlands will decide who is relegated in those groups. In League B, the only team guaranteed promotion or relegation is Ukraine, who are guaranteed promotion to League A. Russia, Bosnia and Wales cannot be relegated though, and both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland cannot be promoted. In League C, no team has guaranteed promotion or relegation just yet. However, all four of Hungary, Estonia, Slovenia and Lithuania cannot be promoted, and Finland cannot be relegated. The lowest ranked third place team of Nations League C will be relegated to League D, which is currently Cyprus. Finally, in League D, Georgia have already confirmed promotion to League C, with two games to spare. No teams can be relegated from League D, however, San Marino and Malta cannot be promoted from their respective groups. Only one point separates the top two in Group D2, and only three points separates the top three in Group D4. So, what fixtures are taking place this international break? The action starts on Thursday the 15th of November, with nine UEFA Nations League matches taking place. In League A, Belgium hosts Iceland in Group A2, and Croatia hosts Spain in Group A4. Belgium v Iceland is almost an irrelevant game, as no matter the result, Iceland are relegated. Furthermore, no matter if Belgium win, lose or draw against Iceland, if Belgium win or draw against Switzerland, they will finish top of the group. Axel Witzel is set to win his 100th cap for Belgium if he plays. If Spain beat Croatia, they will finish top of the group. If the match is a draw, England have the chance to top the group if they beat Croatia. If Croatia win, both England and Croatia could top the group with a win. Spain did win 6-0 in the previous match in September, however. Only one match takes place in Group B, as Austria hosts Bosnia. A Bosnia win or draw would see them promoted to League B, and an Austria win or draw would see Northern Ireland relegated to League C. If Austria beat Bosnia and then Northern Ireland, it could see them promoted, depending on the head-to-head -head record against Bosnia, and the other contributing factors as well. In League C, two matches take place in Group C2, as 3rd place Hungary hosts 4th place Estonia, and 2nd place Greece hosts 1st place Finland. If Greece don't beat Finland by more than one goal, then Finland will be promoted to League B. Furthermore, if Hungary beat Estonia, then Estonia will be relegated to League D, with the previous fixture producing a 3 all draw. In League D, there are 4 matches taking place in Groups D1 and D2. In D1, Kazakhstan hosts Latvia after drawing 1-1 in the reverse fixture, and Andorra hosts Georgia, who have failed to concede a goal in 4 games, and beat Andorra 3-0 in the reverse fixture. In D2, 1st place Luxembourg hosts 2nd place Belarus. A win for Luxembourg would see them promoted to League C, but a win for Belarus would put them in the driving seat, given their final fixture is away at San Marino, who have failed to score so far. San Marino hosts Moldova, who only have a slim chance of winning the group. Finally, 
There are a few interesting friendlies taking place. These include Poland v Czech Republic, Germany v Russia, an Ireland derby as Republic of Ireland hosts Northern Ireland, and England v USA, which will see Wayne Rooney come out of international retirement for one last game to win his 120th cap against the country where he has recently been playing in for DC United in the MLS. The match is being called the Wayne Rooney Foundation International, with money being raised for the foundation which concentrates its efforts on improving the lives of disadvantaged children. Friday the 16th of November sees only one match take place in League A, as Netherlands hosts France in Group A1. A France win or draw will see them finish top of the group and qualify for the Nations League semi-finals. A win for the Netherlands would see them have a chance to finish top of the group with their final match against Germany and would also see Germany relegated. League B sees Slovakia host Ukraine in Group B1 and Wales host Denmark in Group B4. Ukraine are already promoted and no matter the result, Slovakia cannot be relegated until their final game against Czech Republic. In the case of Wales and Denmark, a Wales win would see them promoted to League A, a draw would give Denmark the chance to finish top of the group and would see the Republic of Ireland relegated and a Denmark win would see Denmark promoted and the Republic of Ireland relegated. Both League C and D see two matches taking place. In League C3, 3rd place Cyprus hosts 2nd place Bulgaria and 4th place Slovenia hosts 1st place Norway. If Slovenia lose, they will be relegated. In League D4, 2nd place Gibraltar hosts Armenia and 4th place Liechtenstein hosts Macedonia. If Gibraltar and Armenia draw, then Macedonia will be promoted to League C with a win and 4 points over the next 2 games will also see Macedonia promoted. Finally, in terms of friendlies, 6 of the South American countries play, including Brazil v Uruguay at the Emirates Stadium, Argentina v Mexico and Chile v Costa Rica. Saturday the 17th of November sees Italy host Portugal in Group A3, the only match in League A. A Portugal win or draw will see them win the group, while an Italy win will give them a chance to win the group depending on the result of the Portugal v Poland match a few days later. Giorgio Chiellini is set to win his 100th cap for Italy if he plays. In League B, Turkey hosts Sweden in Group B2 with the losing team relegated to League C. A draw would see Sweden need to beat Russia in order to avoid relegation and would also see Russia promoted to League B. Turkey won the reverse fixture 3-2 in September. In League C, three matches take place. In Group C1, Albania hosts Scotland with both teams on three points. Although Scotland have a game in hand and won the previous encounter 2-0 at home, a loss for Albania will see them finish bottom of the group and possible relegation depending on how the other third place teams finish. Group C4 sees first place Serbia host second place Montenegro after Serbia's 2-0 win last month and third place Romania host fourth place Lithuania after Romania's 2-1 win last month. A Serbia win and a Romania draw will see Serbia promoted to League B. Also, if Lithuania fail to win, they will be relegated to League D. In League D, Azerbaijan hosts the Faroe Islands and Malta hosts Kosovo in Group D3. If Kosovo win and Azerbaijan fail to win, Kosovo will be promoted to League C. Finally, the only international friendlies taking place are Australia v South Korea and Jordan v India. Sunday the 18th of November sees teams who played on Thursday have their second matches of the international break, either in Nations League or friendly form. As mentioned in my October 2018 international fixture guide, it is harder to talk about the group matches for the second match day of an international break due to the fact the results of the first match day matches are unknown. Two matches are taking place in League A which will affect both the top and bottom of the groups. In Group A2, Switzerland hosts Belgium. No matter the result of Belgium's previous match against Iceland, a win or draw for Belgium will see them top the group. However, a win for Switzerland will either see them top the group outright or be level on points with Belgium 
when the head-to-head -head record will be looked at. Belgium won at home 2-1, so a 1-0 win for Switzerland, or a win by two or more goals, will see them top the group. In Group A4, England take on Croatia at Wembley. A win for either team will see the other team relegated. If Spain failed to beat Croatia, an England win would see them top the group, and if Spain lost to Croatia, an England or Croatia win would see them top the group. If Croatia failed to beat Spain, a draw or loss will see them relegated. If Croatia beat Spain and then England and Croatia draw, it would go down to head-to-head -to -head record. A 0-0 draw would see the team with the worst goal difference relegated, which is currently Croatia, but a scoring draw would see England relegated as they would have scored less away goals than Croatia in their head-to-head -head record. The only match in League B sees Northern Ireland host Austria. If Austria draw or win against Bosnia, Northern Ireland will already be relegated to League C. If not, they can leapfrog Austria if they win 1-0 and have a better goal difference, or by winning by two or more goals. If Austria beat Bosnia 1-0 and beats Northern Ireland by three or more goals, or beat Bosnia by two or more goals and beat Northern Ireland, they will be promoted to League A. In League C, Hungary hosts Finland and Greece hosts Estonia in Group C2. If Finland lost to Greece on the 15th of November, a draw or win against Hungary will see them promoted. If Greece failed to beat Estonia, Finland will also be promoted. If Estonia did not lose to Hungary, an Estonia win could see them overtake Hungary and even Greece depending on the results of the other matches. In League D, San Marino hosts Belarus and Moldova hosts Luxembourg in Group D2. If Luxembourg beat Belarus a few days earlier, they will already be promoted. A draw in that game would mean a win for Luxembourg would see them top the group, but if Belarus had beaten Luxembourg, a win for Belarus against San Marino would see them top the group. Moldova would need to win their next two games, hope Luxembourg and Belarus draw, and Belarus don't beat San Marino, or hope Belarus beat Luxembourg and San Marino beat Belarus to have any chance of finishing top. Finally, Spain will face Bosnia in a friendly in which David Silva will take a ceremonial kickoff, having retired from international football earlier in the year. Monday, the 19th of November, sees only one game in League A as Germany hosts Netherlands. If Netherlands beat France a few days earlier, Germany will already be relegated to League B, and a Netherlands win against Germany will see them top the group. If Netherlands lost to France, any win for Germany will see Netherlands relegated instead. If it was a draw, Germany would have to win by four or more goals to beat the head-to-head -head record, or win 3-0 if it was a 0-0 draw, when it would go down to discipline record. In League B, Czech Republic hosts Slovakia in Group B1, and Denmark hosts the Republic of Ireland in Group B4. A draw or win for Czech Republic will relegate Slovakia. If Slovakia draw or beat Ukraine, a Slovakia win against Czech Republic will relegate Czech Republic to League C. If Slovakia lose to Ukraine, they would have to better the 2-1 win that Czech Republic had last month to avoid relegation, i.e. A 3-2 win or a win by two or more goals. If Denmark drew or beat Wales, Republic of Ireland will already be relegated and a win for Denmark against Wales would see them promoted to League B. However, if Wales beat Denmark, then a win for the Republic of Ireland against Denmark would see them overtake Denmark due to the head-to-head -head record and see Denmark relegated to League C. In League C, Cyprus hosts Norway and Bulgaria hosts Slovenia in Group C3. Depending on the results in the early fixtures, any one of Norway, Bulgaria or Cyprus could be promoted. Cyprus currently have the worst record out of all of the third place teams in League C, but two wins against Norway and Bulgaria could see them promoted. It is likely to be between Norway and Bulgaria however, and as they have an equal points and head to head record, it could go down to goal difference if they both get the same number of points from their two matches. Four matches take place in League D. Georgia hosts Kazakhstan and Andorra hosts Latvia in Group D1, with Georgia already promoted. In Group D4, 
Macedonia host Gibraltar and Liechtenstein host Armenia. If Liechtenstein beat Macedonia and Armenia beat Gibraltar, there is a possibility all four teams could finish on 9 points. If Gibraltar beat Macedonia and Liechtenstein beat Armenia. Finally, friendlies see Oman take on Bahrain and 2022 World Cup host Qatar play Iceland in Belgium. The final day of international matches for European teams is Tuesday the 20th of November. The only match in League A sees Portugal host Poland in Group A3. A Portugal win will see them finish top of the group no matter what the result is against Italy. If Italy win by two more goals and Portugal fail to beat Poland, then Italy will finish top of the group. The only match in League B sees Sweden host Russia in Group B2. If Sweden lost to Turkey, Russia will already be promoted and Sweden will be relegated regardless of the result. If it was a draw, Russia will already be promoted but Sweden could overtake Turkey with a win against Russia. If Sweden beat Turkey, Turkey will be relegated and Sweden would finish top of the group and be promoted to League A with a win due to the better head-to-head -head record. In League C, Scotland hosts Israel in Group C1. If Albania beats Scotland and Scotland beat Israel, all three teams would have 6 points. If Scotland drew or beat Albania, a win against Israel would see them top the group and be promoted to League B. However, if they lost to Albania and then failed to beat Israel or lost to them, it would see them in danger of relegation to League D. Group C4 sees Serbia host Lithuania and Montenegro host Romania. If Lithuania beat Romania, they must beat Serbia and hope Romania lose to Montenegro to have a chance of avoiding relegation. 4 points over the next 2 games will be enough for Serbia to be promoted, with Montenegro and Romania needing Serbia to drop points in order to win the group. League D sees Malta host the Faroe Islands and Kosovo host Azerbaijan in Group D3. No matter what the result is against Malta, a win for Kosovo against Azerbaijan will see them promoted to League D, with only a draw needed if they beat Malta at worst. Finally, friendlies include Italy v USA, France v Uruguay, Argentina v Mexico for the second time in a week, and Brazil v Cameroon at Stadium MK, the home of Milton Keynes Dons. To end, here are my pick of the fixtures that I'll be keeping an eye out on or watching myself. As an England fan, once again I'll be watching the two England games. I'm quite happy to see Wayne Rooney have this final farewell game as he never got a proper thank you from the England fans, even if he didn't play as well as I'm sure he wanted to at major tournaments. The England v Croatia match could also be a big match as it could see England finish top of the group, but it could also see England finish bottom of the group and we could have another Wally with a Broly incident against Croatia at Wembley. As mentioned in my last fixture guide, I like to keep an eye out on the other home nations too, so I'll be hoping they can all do well, especially with the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland in trying to avoid relegation and Scotland in trying to join them in League B. There are also a lot of lower league promotion matches which could be interesting to watch, such as Luxembourg v Belarus, Serbia v Montenegro, Macedonia v Gibraltar and Kosovo v Azerbaijan. Finally, the fact teams have a bonus way to qualify for Euro 2020 if they finish top of the group means matches near the top of the groups such as those I've just said as well as Italy v Portugal and Israel v Scotland have an extra significance especially nearer to the bottom as they are less likely to qualify for Euro 2020 the traditional way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you still don't know how the UEFA Nations League works, check out my video where I talked all about it and how teams can use it to qualify for Euro 2020. Also, check out my previous video where I started a three part series on the history of the Whelan family at Wigan Athletic. Leave in the comments below which game you are looking forward to the most during the international break. Also, let me know what you want to see me talk about in the next video. See you next time.